Hello and welcome to another Spark AR tutorial and in this case we will be looking at how we can create a basic facial distortion. So in order to do this I've basically opened up the project that I quit we've been working on for tasks 1, 2 and 3 and on my face mesh I just simply removed the texture that was applied to my face mesh because I wanted this to be a clear slate so you can see what it's doing in a more detail. So within the package of assets you'll be provided with you'll notice that we have this extra little option I didn't sort of talk about in the previous videos which is known as our bonus tasks folder if I open this up there'll be a variety of tasks in here but for this video I'm just going to highlight this one the others will be hidden for the time being I'm going to open up the working with facial distortion pack and inside here we have a FBX model but this is a, not like a normal FBX model this is quite special so if I drag this FBX model into my project like so so we now have this facial distortion pack uh, at the moment this looks like it's doing nothing but this will actually allow us to distort and basically deform our face mesh so to do that I click on my face mesh up here and we could create any facial distortion we want so if we was to take this basic model for example and let's just quickly show you if we was to take this basic model here which is available as this dot day or fbx or dot obj and we used to open this up in blender or 3ds max or any other program 3d modeling program of our choice we could distort this and apply that as a deformation to our face mesh and it would change our features accordingly so I'm just going to, with our face mesh selected, um, click on the deformation option and the little plus button. And because I've just imported our facial distortion pack, I can click on that. And what this will do is bring in a morph object and a long variety of options. So each of these options here are on a scale, a slider. So I can adjust the scale of our eyes, for example. So I could make it have really large eyes. I can make them quite bug-eyed if I really wanted to. I can give it a really long, large nose. And if I actually wanted this to just apply to our normal everyday face, uh, we could do that. So this is a little bit of a bonus thing. So just to search here, so you can see, we can turn off the mouth and nose, uh, eyes, etc. But if I go to my camera, Sorry, I go to my face uh, tracker and I go to texture extraction and I click on the little plus button. This will make a new texture called face tracker zero texture. And if I was to apply this material to our default material, which is currently on our face. So to do that, I go to textures and I just select our face tracker texture. You'll notice that this is now copying our face. I make this flat. And I'm just going to quickly turn off the eyes because we're getting this sort of eyes within eyes look at the moment. Same with the mouth. We can now see that we have distorted the facial features of the person below it. So if I was to now apply this to a face cam, oh god, you can sort of see how that looks. The eyes are looking a little bit low resolution, that's mainly because of my webcam. But I can adjust these on the fly. I can give myself a square head. And I can use a combination of these effects to create some quite gnarly results. So this is how we can apply a deformation mask to the inbuilt face mesh, for example. So again, this is just a little bit of an extra tutorial. So this isn't something that you have to do but it's something that if you feel like you want to play about with you can do and this is how you can create your own weird um, distortion masks so if you want to make yourself look like an alien it would be using the default face mesh but with some distortion done either to the 3d model or using a scale option like this 
So thank you for watching and if you want to check out the bonus videos there will be more available on the playlist and if you have any queries obviously hit, let us know either by emailing us or asking us in person if you have that luxury. Thank you for watching.